Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Sworn. This is an upcoming action roguelike we got into the playtest. I think they're just letting anybody in. So if you want to go to the Steam page, you can add, request access. There's just a little button and then you can probably just play right away. Uh, despite some technical difficulties I had, we did manage to fix them. Uh, and so we are able to play the game. Yes, this is essentially, uh, you know, a game that is trying to do what Hades did in a lot of different ways. And we're going to see a lot of the the similarities definitely when we play the run but let me go over the basics of the game yes it's an action roguelike it does have co-op which is obviously a major selling point and i'm hoping to show you some co-op in another video later on but for now why don't we just go through the game so here's the basic hub we won't go through this too much until the end of the run but you know you have your basic light attack as you can see here so it has like a three hit combo there's also a dash which has two charges it there yet the upgrade to get the second charge but it was, came pretty qu quickly so you do also have a dash attack you also have a heavy attack which is this very slow spin that's as fast as we can do it and you have a spell and all the, uh the spell is interchangeable as well as the weapon itself right now the spell is a rushing move here with the blade kind of counts as a dash i don't think you can get damaged during it as far as i could tell it does cost mana you can see how many mana orbs we have in the bottom left so you have to wait for that to recharge so you can kind of think of that as a cast now many of these things are interchangeable namely the spell and the weapon as well as the character and i haven't been able to play with everything yet so we're probably just gonna we're gonna get to go through the basics of the game first here so let's get a run started and at the end of the run we'll show you some of the other things on offer as well as the meta progression and anything else in the hub world but yeah the basic premise is kill the enemies pick up the rewards move on to the next chamber rinse and repeat you know <laughs> sounds similar doesn't it sounds sounds a little familiar to us but also i mean i guess that particular format isn't what makes it similar per se to hades as much it's more so the fact that you know it what we're probably about to see here and then the setup for the weapons probably too so what do we have here we have to choose between two different uh gods i'm not sure i think they might call them phase queen of the fey titania or gog magog the last giant i don't know if i've seen her stuff yet oh i have not every eight seconds your light attack will ignite ignite damage bonus 150 percent that's actually kind of interesting huh so yes this is basically their boon system and this is definitely what makes it super similar to hades so definitely what makes it feel similar to hades so we got also put on the heavy attack i'm kind of thinking that one more so every six seconds your dash will cause you to immolate deals heavy damage to enemies in an area over time common so this one's uncommon why don't we do this because i tend to not use the heavy attack as often so maybe that'll almost help in a sense and so now we get to choose which way we're going after this if we go left it is a slightly harder room that's what that skull means uh that reward is a the meta currency basically darkness it improves your stats as well as a few other things there's like a skill tree this is a different meta currency it's kind of hard to make out called fairy ember i'm trying to remember exactly what that's for i think that's mostly for unlocking weapons if i remember correctly weapons characters a few other things so this uh chamber should be a little bit harder now let's check out there there's our heavy attack it dealt 140. watch out for the traps throughout the room my first uh i'm gonna say 20 30 minutes the game were actually pretty rough in the sense that um i just died in the first like three chambers several times and then once i just got the tiniest amount of currency finally it's just like okay and i spent it i got some more max health dealt a little bit more damage and i don't know maybe things just started to click better too at that point in time i'm not really sure but it definitely felt kind of rough at a first glance but now i'm having more fun with it all right so we got an optional thing here appear into the orb see 120 dollars it seems like you could almost reach it and grab it let's go ahead and do that we kill the enemies quickly if they want to spawn did i do it i did do it oh i see them now didn't see you come here buddy so i mean this game begs the question you know like how similar is too similar to a beloved game that some of you may enjoy i think that i mean i've been on the record to say that there's probably considering how many games get cloned uh, as as the terminology states i think that hades is overdue for a true clone a decent one 
I mean, I've, I've seen some things that borrow some aspects of it. Does it make it okay to clone it? Uh, this game does, it feels different in some ways. You know what I mean? Uh, different enough to where it feels like I'm playing something fresh, I can tell you that much. It doesn't feel like I'm just playing the same game, per se. There was a lot to uncover, and there's a lot of different combinations to try out, too. All right, the War Banner is, as far as I can tell, it's just two options for a reward, basically. I guess we'll try the harder one. I actually don't know if reward is better. Uh, oh god, oh god, everything's charging. Use our spell, okay. Oh, I got trap. You gotta listen for it. Oh, no. I got a little bit of health back per chamber. Just like two or three, maybe, I'm gonna say. Gotta get rid of this guy. Ah, I was trying to avoid the trap in particular. Oh. Oh, there's two enemies, like, stuck in there. Got him! That was rough. That was a rough chamber. Gog Magog, the last giant is back, or we can take Beira, the Frozen Wish. Now, I know Gog Magog's boons, and I kind of didn't love them. They're, if you stat, if you hit them enough with his boons, then uh, it'll stagger the enemy, but it, they don't get much of a bonus. I don't remember what the Frozen Witch does. It might add flat damage. Your light attack is stronger and inflicts chill. Flat damage plus five. Slows enemy movement and attack speed with each stack. That's what chill does. Okay. You can also put on the spell, which gives it plus 10 flat damage. That's probably not good, because I think the spell deals like 100-ish damage already. Your companion is an Arctic Hare. Nova damage. A magic-touched rabbit that shoots frost novas at enemies. Sounds okay. It's also rare, but I think we really need something on our attack. And I think 5 flat damage when the sword's already dealing 20 isn't horrible. All right, this is a little shop where we could get some some, consola, some consumables, I believe. So we can spend 100 didri dollars. Your light attack deals more damage for five chambers, 40% more. 40% of 20 is just four more extra damage. Remove some of your curse. I don't know if this is actually active in the game yet, the curse system. Because I haven't seen any mention of curse. They might be borrowing a little something from Curse of the Dead Gods where you build up curse throughout a run, but I haven't really seen any interact i see mention of curse but i don't see anything else beyond that let's see this reward basically powers up a boon that we already have so it's equivalent to a palm i'm gonna take the light attack buff i guess it seems like uh i might as well i make no promises i'm gonna perform super well in this run by the way <laughs> i'll try my best but we may die it's not, uh, it's definitely not super easy, but I do think the combat does a pretty good job. Uh, it definitely feels pretty fluid. Uh, it doesn't feel janky. Uh, I'd say the character feels light, you know. I think there's still work to be done. This is a play test. I mean, this isn't even necessarily a demo. Like, you had to request access just to do it. All right, we can change the flat damage increased to 7.15 which is still quite low you could increase the burning strike bonus damage to 243 percent which is a big increase right but you can only do it so often so i wonder about that considering we're light attacking so often here what is really better hmm let's try to go big on that one all right again the grail water is a meta currency similar to darkness let us continue Okay, let's see. I had one winning run. I've only played for about an hour, maybe ever so slightly more, I'm going to say, by the way. So this is basically where I am after an hour. There was currently just one biome and one boss, as far as I could tell, unless they secretly add more after beating it. I've beaten the last boss one time. This is a meta currency that you can get. What does this hand do? I actually don't know it. Golden hand. Oh, I've never seen this. You come across a strange statue made of pure gold. Seems to be inviting you to touch it, but something about its eerie glimmer gives you pause. Touch. Convert next four rewards to money. Gain $150. But we lose 15% max health. Convert next four rewards to money. We're about to go to a shop. That's what that... Uh, the scales on the door mean. Uh, so maybe, why don't we try to take the curse? You strike the statue with a blunt object, the gold rends beneath the force of your blow. 
As it does, though, you hear a scream cut through the sound of metal breaking as you pick up the broken piece of the statue of left with the haunting memory of that scream. We did. It did seem to work. We did get our money. So we're hoping to remove that curse later on somehow. Don't ask me how, though. We got money to spend here. You can buy Bab the Dark Omen. Titania, Queen of the Fae. Uh, she's the one that gave us the burning thing. You can get a blessing. This is 100 max health. Uh, sorry, 25 max health. If we buy that, we broke. We actually gained health. <laughs> oh, wait, but it's percentage. I don't think... I don't know if I want more of her ignite boons. Why don't we try a different style boon? Your spell can backstab plus 80% damage bonus. But only if you backstab, huh? Your dash gets an additional charge is probably okay. Your dash leaves behind a shade. A living shadow that strikes at the nearest enemy can backstab. Rare. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try shadow dash, huh? I see it now. Okay. That's probably not bad. That's probably not bad. Hope my greed doesn't get us killed. There's still obviously a lot for me to try. If your question is, do I like this game? Would I recommend this game? I would say, you know, I think it's pretty decent. I think it's a pretty good action roguelike on its own, uh, barring any comparisons to any other games. You know, I think there's actually a lot of content here. Uh, there's also the whole co-op aspect, which I have not yet tried. I plan to showcase that in a different video, though, where we can try it out and see how we feel about that. Now, that is something that people request. I've requested a lot of practically any game of any genre people want to know is it co-op why not blah 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 etc etc why can't it be and i'm not someone that leans towards co-op games because i'm i guess just generally um i don't have that many people to play co-op games that want to play games with me i mean take that as you may <laughs> Okay, we got a mini boss here. Let's focus on that for a sec. So dodge the attacks. You can dash right through them. You can probably just figure out what's going on there. Dash through the orbs. I have bought the, bought this boss a few times, so I'm very aware of the move set already. Watch out for the lasers. Okay, there we go. We got out of it. Not bad. I don't even know if we got hit. We got some crystal shards. That's just another meta currency. We can take the heal or we can take the money. I guess we don't really need the heal, huh? But yeah, I definitely will try out the co-op and we'll show you how that feels. And we'll give a judgment on that. But this is definitely a game I'm going to keep be keeping an eye out for. Even if I wasn't a content creator who was essentially paid to cover games. And this is something I would definitely be interested in. I think um, there's some work to be done, though, for sure. Namely around, um, I think, I think the music is okay. It is serviceable. It's not perfect. I think the sound effects need a lot of work. I know that's very particular, but I think that's the case. I think some of the pacing, especially as a new player starting out, needs some work too. Um, we spend all of our time in this one, we'll call it biome here, as you'll find out. And then when we move on... Uh, that's going to be the end of it. And enemy variety could be better, but the truth is... I Oh, whoops. I didn't even notice there was a door on the left. It, enemy variety is not going to be great here. I think that's kind of understandable for a game that is still very fresh, though. So I'm not really upset about that. As long as when they do introduce more enemies biomes, they should probably consider shortening the length of this particular biome. Okay, this end, this chamber is rough. Oh my god, and they're just like summoning each other. Woo! Trying to kill the big frogs here. Okay. My god, that was brutal though. Man, that was tough. Okay. Just got more meta currency out of that. I think those I I think that's really the main thing. I think um I think I think the sound is a bit rough. I think the the start of the game for a lot of players probably isn't going to feel great in the way that they present the systems. I think uh, some of the skills and stuff... Oh, this seems new to me. Survive the onslaught for 45 seconds. Okay. I've never actually seen one of these rooms. Money? Okay, so it's indicating we get money for killing the enemies. 
probably not going to try too, too hard, right? So, honestly, I think for what I have seen of the game, which, again, is not everything, nowhere near, I think they're really on the right track for a decent action roguelike. I think they're going the right way with it. Now, I guess we need to broach the topic of... Focusing, focusing, focusing. I, I think we do need to bring up the topic of the, the clone. The, cl the clone aspect of it, right? We have $300, so I guess we'll take Titania here. Your spell will ignite. When you hit an enemy with an ignited attack, apply Immolate to yourself. Immolate damage 5. Deals heavy damage to enemies in an area over time. Don't know. Your heavy attack can store a second ignite charge and deals extra damage when it ignites. I don't think storing the extra charge really does a whole lot. Unless it starts recharging early, in which case I guess that's kind of good. This doesn't sound good. Apply Immolate to yourself. Immolate damage 5. Do I literally take damage? It says Immolate deals heavy damage to enemies in an area over time. I don't know. I think I'm just going to buff the spell for now. I don't know. Let's try not taking a <laughs> difficult roam. As I don't know if the rewards are actually better or not. We'll see if these rewards feel better or worse than average. So, I mean, this just is more of a philosophical discussion where is it how how close how similar does a game need to be before it's too similar? You know what I mean? It's one of those things like I don't know if we can easily define ahead of time like here's where you draw the line, here's here's where it's okay, and here's what's not okay to copy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? As someone, I mean, I play literally over 300 games a year. I play a lot of different things. I think for me, as long as you make it fun, right? In its own unique way, you know, it doesn't have to be the most unique thing ever. Uh, then I'll probably enjoy it. I guess we should do more Titania. Yeah, your ignited attacks cause enemies they hit to immolate. Exploding damage all enemies near you when you take damage. 50 damage. Your ignited attacks are stronger, but take longer to recharge. How much longer? It doesn't say. Your ignited attacks cause enemies they hit to immolate. Let's try that. What's this? I get money if I do this? Okay, well, let's do that. So basically, I don't really have an answer. I know, and everyone's going to think differently about this, you know? about how similar a game is, is how how okay is it that a game is similar to something that they love you know it tends to be the more people love a game the more upset they are when something copies it right that tends to be the case very very often and i guess i'm, I'm quite lenient i would say i'm quite lenient when it comes to it because i played a large share of bad games i try a lot of bad games so all the time honestly games that are not good that are not worth showing that are not worth your money that are not worth your time and i don't usually bother to talk about them because it's just not worth it you know it's not worth discussing you know there's so many good games worth playing instead why would i focus on the bad ones at least i try not to so that that's all it comes down to for me and if you decide you don't want to play this game because it is too similar to haze for one reason or another Okay, then. All right. That's fine. All right. I'm almost dead. Time to focus back in on the actual game itself here. Let's take a frozen witch. Oh, God. Her head is, like, half missing. The companion is an arctic hare. When an enemy has more than five stacks of chill, they take damage over time. Damage per second, 20. Attacks that inflict chill also build up frostbite. Frostbite at max frostbite. Enemies become frozen. What is max frostbite? Hmm, more than five stacks of chill, 20 damage per second. The Arctic hair shoots out frost novas. I guess I'm going to take the Arctic hair there. I'm not sure. Some of those sounded pretty cool. Okay, we can't roll the doors or anything here. So we're going to take the boon upgrade. We don't need the money. We got plenty of money. That's for sure. We need to not die now. 
Okay. I had a pretty solid run that managed to focus more in on the spell. Wish I could have done that this run, honestly. It just felt quite good. I don't know what I got stuck on there. Yeah. There's definitely broken builds to be found. Like I said, there's like tons of... I say tons. There are, there are other weapons. There's four weapons, four characters, four spells. And you can kind of mix and match. And each character... Actually, each character has four different weapons as far as I understand it. But I haven't unlocked and looked at them all yet. But there's definitely not a small combination. There's definitely a lot to look at there. So where they need to focus, I think, for the game is going to be... I think about the enemies in the biomes now, really. The Arctic Hare gets a pretty big increase. I can't really measure how well the Arctic Hare is doing. It's just too difficult to tell. I guess I should probably just do Chilling Touch. Oh, thank God. We got a shop. We do actually have quite a bit of money. So this is nice to have. That's meta currency. We can restore 20 health. So we can take the health as well as two boons here. Healing effects are more potent on you. Heal 25 health now. Oh, yes. Heal at the end of each room, four. Healing enemy increases your max health by one. The total max health you gain this way is limited by 40. Okay. Let's take that. I'm going to take the healing one there. You have a chance to evade incoming damage. 20% chance. You can backstab by hitting enemy from the side. All your backstabs deal more. Backstab is on our spell. That's not bad. Your shades now throw knives instead of slashing with swords. They also deal more damage. We get the shade from dashing? All these are okay. I think I'm going to take the evasion there. I think those all sounded quite interesting. Unfortunately, the run is coming to an end here very shortly. <laughs> it is indeed boss time. This is somehow based in, like, Arthur's realm, King Arthur's realm, as far as I understand. Okay. All right. Over the circle. I've actually only seen this boss once before. It's doing the whirlwind. We go to come in. Looks like we are. Dodge these. Jumping down. Casting a spell. Ow! Oh, I managed to evade that. The Butcher. Accidentally double cast a spell there. Woo! Run away. This song, I know this is going to be super random. Reminds me of like a Deftone song randomly. Showing my age. Watch out. Run! No! No! Yes! Kill it! Got him! Okay. Boss is down, though. It was quick, right? It was quick. I mean, we only got the one biome in the game right now, I think. I mean, let's make sure it actually does say victory. I think uh, it feels a little anticlimactic when the boss ends. I know I'm kind of giving feedback to the developer at this moment out loud. I think we need a bit like a splash to it, you know, something a little bit more fanciful when that happens. Okay, so that is the run complete. We're going to go over all the meta stuff as well as different characters and weapons. Uh, I haven't really been able to try any because I was just making sure that, you know, I, I got good enough at one weapon so we could get through a run, basically. Uh, so here is the skill, different skill trees. They use the rail water, which is the rightmost currency in the top right. And so there's five different trees. I mean, they're pretty straightforward. War is damage based. Life is life based. Wealth is money based. Treasure, I don't even remember. Devotion is more about how uh, the rarities of the gods, I believe. So we've actually already gotten a few here that make blessings more, uh, that make blessings stronger, more likely to receive uncommon blessings. So now we can potentially unlock this. Deal 3% base damage for each blessing from the Fey Lord you have the most blessings from, or you could sw swap it here. Deal 5% base damage for each Fey Lord you have a blessing from. 
So either more of the same or more different. I think I'll take more different there. You are 1% more likely to receive legendary blessings. I have not seen one of those. 4% more likely to get rare. 2% more likely to get epic. Okay. We won't go through every single thing. Gain 10 grail water when defeating a boss. Apparently I already get 10. Enemies have a 5% chance to drop fairy ember. The thing is like fairy ember. I don't think we really need a lot. We need a lot more grail water than anything else. Uh, you start each run with 20 gold. Earn 10 gold if you complete a room in under 30 seconds. You know, that sounds fun to me. Even if it's not that good. Start each run with 20 gold. Earn 10 gold if you complete a room in under 30 seconds. I don't know if I'm really capable of that. Unfortunately, you can't really just get more damage. There's more move speed here, which I avoided because it just didn't seem to great. Reviving allies with health costs 10% less, so I didn't need any of that. But it's how you get all the way up there, basically. But I will need it in the future, so I guess I should probably start doing that. I guess I'll just take the move speed too while we're here, huh? All right, that's a basic outline of what's going on here. It talks about getting revived. When you are revived, return with plus 10% more health. It must mean when you're playing co-op because you don't have any death defiances or anything like that. So I'm guessing when an ally revives you. So this is a skill tree that it will basically make the game easier to simplify it. Over here, we have the big stuff here. So we have four different characters. I have lots of uh, different... I, I have plenty of currency for this stuff. I just don't have enough grail water for everything. So let's see. We got the vigilante... We have the Rook, we have the Spectre, and we have the Monk. I haven't really been been able to try them all, but if you want to see them, make sure you let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of the game, of course. I do want to show off the co-op at the least. But then, yeah, so we were just using the Vigilante, but they got four different weapons. The bow, which I tried for a minute and I hated it for, in the first minute I played it. <laughs> but I was still pretty new to the game. The bow staff, the chakrams, and then different spells too. We were using blade rush, but there's also remote mine, flurry of daggers, shadow strike. So there's a lot of different stuff here, and each one has four different of each. And I haven't touched any of the other characters yet, so we can definitely find out how we feel about them. I don't know. Maybe why don't we take the rook over to the dummy just to see how it feels real quick? So I only have one dash, I think. No, no, you still have two dashes. That's the light attack. It hits way harder. but it's a little bit slower. It's actually not terrible, though. That's the heavy attack. Oh, so it's like a triple whirlwind. Oh, I can actually hold it down to make it keep happening. And then when I let go, it, that's what happens. That's the spell, so it must be some kind of counter or something like that. I, have to, I think that's all we have to see. We do have some characters that we can talk to here. Uh, I don't think she really has anything for you, though. And this guy over here, the Fisher King, he basically opens up the codex for you so you can look at different boons that you've already discovered, but only ones that you've already discovered. So you can't look ahead of time, unfortunately, at different things. But yeah, there's a lot. I mean, if these are all in the game right now, look at how many boons there are, and we've barely covered a small portion of them. So there's quite a bit of game here. So long story short... I think this game actually has a lot of potential. It does need some work. It needs polish, especially. It needs some more variety, especially in terms of the enemies and the layouts and the traps. I think that the enemies are probably the big thing for right now. And of course, you know, just how it looks in general. I think the presentation is okay. I think visually it's actually pretty decent looking. I i feel like the portraits could have could be better still you know what i mean merlin's not too bad but i think i've seen some of the the gods that the portraits unfortunately don't don't hit as well also also this small thing small thing for me but that this font here i, I don't like it you need something jazzier than that this just feels like some version of you know uh sans serif basically to me you need something jazzier than that this just feels like a boring font to me also the skill tree scene here um i don't really love the layout where i have to go between each and you know like slowly click through up i don't know it's just not very efficient is how i would describe it i'd rather this be honestly like i don't want to have to click on them individually i think you know what i mean i, I think they should this great there's a ton of empty space here you know what i mean you don't really need to spread it out as much as you have here i think right 
You did have to unlock the different branches, but you can still leave that in. Okay, that's enough for the devs. Let me know what y'all think. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. There will be more to come of Sworn, as long as the playtest is open. I can't guarantee it'll always be open here. But if you got any questions, comments, make sure you let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.